a featherweight to Holloway and Darren Elkins. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers, judo players, and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas well he is on the short list of the greatest featherweights of all time but max holloway has goals beyond that dc you know he trains at 185, 190 pounds. Going to be very interesting to see how far Max Holloway can take this here in the UFC. He's one of the best fighters, as you said. He's one of the best featherweights of all time. And it's because of his preparation and his attention to detail. When he made his UFC debut, he had hiccups. But he went back to the lab and he fixed those things. And it showed in a massive 13-fight win streak that had him winning the featherweight championship and defending it on multiple occasions. Max Holloway is truly one of the best fighters in the entire organization. And what he did in that two-fight series with Jose Aldo is something that history Unreal. is gonna look back upon very fondly. Max blessed Holloway back in another big spot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Elkins is eight years his senior. Holloway is one inch. Elkins will have a two inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 26 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet, inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at a Portage, Indiana, USA, Darren the Damage Elkins. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six hands, five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Hawaii, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to leave his web of traps, try and find a... Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. What a punch. And some nice defensive work being put in by Darren Elkins. 
Ooh, now he's got the tie plum game. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Elkins. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Darren Elkins. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Elkins is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Good work from the top here by Darren Elkins. All right, so he sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Elkins is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Max Blessed Holloway. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. I mean, how many can he take? 30 seconds now to go in the round. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop the You gotta defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows then he can get the finish. Round two straight ahead. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Holloway gets caught with that punch. 
Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big power shot there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into his strike. Elkins gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. All right, he closes. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Elkins gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 75 total strikes have now landed for Darren the Damage Elkins. And a pretty good clip as well. He is striking at a 60% accuracy rate against Max Holloway. Nice leg kick. single collar tie here. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice right hand. The ground and pound has been there all night. Just over two minutes now to go. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of this back by Elkins. Under two minutes now in round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He lands flush with that right hand. Elkins gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Holloway gets caught with that punch. Oh, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. Here's the attempt. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Holloway's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Now connects with a right. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that dude. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Single collar tie now. All right, that's the end of round number two.
Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Third round underway. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice punch there by Holloway. Goes to the body there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. So 97 total strikes have now landed for Darren Elvis. And DC pretty accurate as well, landing at a 54% against Max Holloway. Oh, collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is... And there's the double leg takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's having his way with him here. Three minutes out of going, round three. All right, has the guard closed here? Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Elkins. All right, feet on the hips here. Nice hammer fist. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Lands with a right hand. Holloway gets up. He is back on the feet here. Not there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look like, oh! Sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, huge knee to the head. One appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, what fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. 
Nicely done. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, three seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max S. Holloway. Well, he's smiling, Dad. I did it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.